things of bloody, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, they're those things, you know, um, uh, greater than or less than symbols, okay? We'll call them alligators just because I'm going to. It's as simple as that. Uh, okay, so we start off with an alligator because we're saying this is a bit, it kind of tells the computer, look, this is an instruction. You know, I'm, I want you to do something if I've got one of these. Um, and then at the end of that alligator, you're saying, okay, I finished my instruction and I'm going to go, well, where's the end of the alligator? There's the end there. The end of the alligator's there. Now, so, some things have a, a, a backslash on them and some things don't, okay? And you just have to kind of figure that out. I'll show you how you figure that out. On, there's a page, a brilliant page in HTML goodies that tells you all of the different HTML things which are known as tags, T-A-G-S, tags. And what the, the protocol is to use for the tags. So, okay, form method equals post. We want to do it by post. It doesn't have to be in capital letters, by the way. They can all be in in, um, uh, in lowercase. And in fact, if you're using the more complex uh, later, when you want to, if you want to convert it to the more um, modern version of HTML, which I think is HT, HX, uh, XHTML or something like that, uh, you've got, um, they need to be in lowercase. So um, anyway, you can do whatever you like, but it's just a kind of, it's easier to see if you've got particular instructions put there. The next thing, we, we so we're saying the form method is post, so it's a postal type of form. The method is the action equals, and then there's an inverted comma here, mail to, and then my email address, David Isaac dot, uh, at uh, mac.com then there's a question mark at the end of it and that's just a um, that the question mark is used to differentiate the next component of that which is subject okay and the subject is what's going to appear in the uh, email that gets sent to you so this is who it's sent to so you, you change that to you otherwise I'll get all of your email <laughs> from your site which is not a good idea. The subject, and I've put uh, please email me when you have new tutorials, and I've put the um, uh, enclosing type ENC type, on, I think that's enclosing type, equals uh, text slash plain, so because I don't want it to come in an, you know in, in some other form, it's easier when it's straight plain text uh, to for me to use the email information so that's why I want it to to come through BR equals break which means that's telling it to break the line there you can't just do like in your code for instance uh, a carriage return uh, which is you know re hit return because it doesn't recognize it uh, so you've got to tell it uh, break BR right uh, with the alligators on each side um, and then that means that that text will occur first, uh, you know, one line down. Okay, please enter your name, and then there's the end br. See, that's br with a backslash before it, so backslash br and alligators on either side. Um, actually, alligators is pretty good, really. They do look like alligators snipping at them. Then we're going to say, what's the input type? And so, alligator input type, that's another specific type of instruction that computers know, or browsers know, actually. Um, and it says input type equals text. So, that's telling them that, that the input type is actually uh, a text. It could be a number if you wanted it to be a number, or it could be a date, or, or pretty much anything else, really. But uh, there are certain ones that browsers understand, so you have to stick to the to the protocol, and that protocol is all on the, the HTML goodies site, which I'll show you soon. Um, so input type text. Now, that's a type of input is text, but we need to say, in order to handle it, it's, I always think of these things like buckets. It's, it, you create a container with which the program then uses that container. Whatever is actually put into it will be called something which is name because we don't know what it is they're going to type in. So, but we do know that we, we're going to, we want it to be known as a name. So we're going to call this container into which the person's going to put the, the text and to have a look at it, 
we're actually looking at this bit here see please enter your name that's the container uh, into which they're going to enter their name Dave see um, do you get the idea so um, that's a container into which they're going to enter their name there I'll just get rid of that don't want Dave in there um, okay so that's the first that's the one we're setting up here so the input type text um, container is going to be called name and the size of it is going to be 30 characters but you can make that 60, 100, 5000, whatever you bloody want there's probably some limit but you you know work out you know I mean the person's not going to have an incredibly big name maybe they are maybe you've got a lot of um, sort of people with uh, you know those kind of Catholic names where they have um, you know they mention every single saint uh, in their name <laughs> I don't know <laughs> mine's just Dave Brown being a Quaker my parents uh, remained very simple and uh, so everything was uh, very simple so it was just Dave or David that was it didn't get a second name which is a bit of a bugger really um, okay now break again see because I want a, I want when I make it so please enter your name and there's a break before it goes down to the next line please enter your email address so these are all formatting characters so there's a break uh, where's the break gone there we are please enter your email address whoops here we are please enter your name break and then we've got another uh, break after it and we've got please enter your email address and then the end of the break symbol again there and then because I want those see there's a break there that's one there's the um, this on a separate line then there's another break then there's input name now we've got another one an input right so you're telling the computer I want to input it and the name's going to be called user mail but it can be anything really I mean this is what will turn up on your email user mail it can it can be anything at all it doesn't have any interest in in what it is um, and the size is going to be 50 or whatever you want for a number for that determines how long this enter your email address one is if we made that 20 it'd be a lot smaller okay then P which is a paragraph uh, line so another one gives us a bit more space between could have used break on that just the same um, now this is an interesting one because we've got font color um, now now what we've got here is um, add any comments below and you notice that that's in uh, um, rather than BR that's a B right add any comments below is B now that means bold now there's other ways you can do it strong or there's a number of other different things you can use but B is the old one and all the browsers know the old so if you want to make that type font something different you can do that and there once again on the page that I'm going to give you all of that is covered so you've got all of the different things that you can add into it and they give you little examples you can cut and paste them in it's really good okay uh, another break here right there's another break then another container text area which is um, uh, text area is saying that this is a, a larger box and this is text area there see that um, a larger box which can actually take as much as you want um, uh, and the text area name is going to be comment which is what appears on the email again that's in inverted commas and then you're saying how, how big you want that text area to be which is row 6 column 60 um, play with those and you'll find different sizes but I think it's actually you can keep typing heaps in 